Hello, this is Jake, and today I have another uh, scripting video thing. Today I'm actually revisiting the custom buildables, because um, with me and my friend Buddha Crane, we fixed up the um, a few issues with it. One of The main issue with the cu custom buildables previously is I had it so it was set up that you had to pick up e each object in order. Now, I can pick up whatever I want. And more than one thing at a time as well. So I can also go over here and place it. And I can place other things. Let's just grab this. And then let's grab this. Boom, we now have all the pieces in place, and now we can... What's it called? We have built a mongoose. Well, you know, so forth. So now what we can do... What's it called? Now this is fantastic for people with puzzle maps in particular. So they can have, like, collectibles, which allow them to put them all into their one cache or whatever, whatever it may be. And then when they place their final piece whatever they can finish their quest or whatever it may be which um that's that or you could have some fun things like building a crappy looking mongoose which turns into a real mongoose and stuff like that <laughs> yeah there you could build all sorts of, I, I call it custom buildables it's a, kind of a collectible system if uh, if you if you may you know so let's go into forge and see what we've improved on all right, so here we are in Forge. I've already done a tutorial of this, of the a lot of this previous version before, so this will be a bit quicker than the previous video. All right. So today, what we have here is let's start with the with this. The timer on once spawns in your object, right? So that needs to be the broadcast channel, which is one, which corresponds to your chair, which is spawn channel one, candy spawn true. Place it start false. So, yeah. Then what you need is your switch on, which needs to be place it start true. That doesn't matter. Um, scripting, which is it's called broadcast channel five. That's it. Then here you have a timer off, which is power channel five, broadcast channel one. So that makes that despawn. Now this all is just that with the different numbers. The same thing pretty much over and over. Broadcast channel 6, that has the spawn channel of 6. This has power channel 6, broadcast channel 2. This has the spawn channel 2, never mind, not 6. And then this is your timer on once, 2, so forth, but broadcast channel 2. So you yeah, have same across the board. Your object here, spawn channel 3. Timer on once with a broadcast channel of 3. Switch on with broadcast channel 7. Timer off with a power channel 7, broadcast channel 3, yeah, so forth. Candy spawn true, place it start false, spawn channel 3. All right, then this object, spawn channel 4, candy spawn true, advance, place it start false. Yeah, then this is broadcast channel 4. All right, then here, switch on, broadcast channel 8. This is power channel 8 and broadcast channel four. So this is the act of picking it up. This is all the logic behind picking it up. So over here we have what actually makes it build. All right, so let's move this over. All right. Here we have four different switches, right? Hopefully they're all in the right order, all right. But for each collectible you have, it's a switch on its broadcast channel which is for this one broadcast channel five, you have to have a, it's called up now, where is it? Yep, the last one, of course. All right. So what you need to do is put that on the power channel of your switch ons over here. So this one's power channel five, then broadcast channel nine. This one's power channel six, broadcast channel 10. 
This one is Power Channel 7, Broadcast Channel 11, and this one is Power Channel 8, Broadcast Channel 12. Yeah, so these switches basically give you the power to activate these switches, all right? Now what these switches do is they are broadcast channel, as broadcast all of those correspond to all of these. So you, these objects can despawn true, and their place to start false. Now what they need is a spawn channel of 10 for the cones, whatever one of your pieces was, the other ones. Uh, spawn channel of 11, and then this one should be 12, spawn channel 12. And then this one here should be spawn channel 9. Those correspond to all of these switches. They are both uh, candy spawn true, blaze at start false. So then after you activate each of these, this is where it gets a bit complicated, not too much. What we're doing is we're creating an AND gate. And let's go. So the idea here is act after you've activated all four of these, it then makes this switch available for use. So over here is your AND gate. This is what my friend Buddha helped me out with. So what you need is a timer on once, and you want to add the spawn channel of one of your switches here. So what's called the broadcast channel of one of these. So this one's broadcast channel nine. And you want to make it the spawn channel of your timer on once here. And then what you want to do is make sure that you have another switch Let's go, that's 10. What did I put for this? Uh, yeah, so power channel 10 as the other, the, as the power channel. So what it does is one switch actually spawns it and the other one actually powers it. So you require both switches to activate your, what's it called, your timer on once. And the same occurs for the other one with the other two things. So you need spawn channel 11 and power channel 12. And those correspond to these two, 11 and 12. And then those all broadcast 14, and this one broadcast 13. Now you're just making another one of these AND gate things for this, which is another, which act, which requires both of these to be active to activate that. So in that one, you need a spawn channel 13, a power channel of 14, and a broadcast channel of 15. So once these two are active, this activates. Once this activates, you activate your last switch. This last switch does the final part of whatever your thing is. Now, once again, this also could work with a collectible thing. I, I just built a mongoose here. You could have a collectible thing. Puzzle map, and whatever you want to do. And then, like, once you've collected all the pieces, then something happens. Maybe a door opens or something. I don't know. So, over here, you have a power channel of 15 and a broadcast channel of 16. The power channel of 15 is from over there, your AND gate, which then activates your switch on, which you can use for the final part. Now, for this particular thing, if you had a buildable here that you want to despawn, so say you have like your little crappy, ugly, buildable mongoose here, <laughs> and you want that to despawn, then you'd have to activate some timers here. If you don't want them to activate any timers, don't worry about this part. Like, if you don't want anything to disappear, don't worry about this at all. These four will not. So, from here, you have your timer off, which is a power channel of 16 uh, all the way across the board. All of them have. And then their broadcast channels are 9 through 12. So, broadcast channel 9, broadcast channel 10, broadcast channel 11, and broadcast channel 12. And those despawn all of these objects because that's what their spawn channel. So basically, if you want a buildable that despawns after you've finally built the final part, that's what these are. You don't want these? Don't use them. All right. Now, the final part of your custom buildable is making it activate. You want, after you build this, your custom buildable, or your, you've collected all the keys for your game, or whatever it could be, you want it to do something. So in this case, your broadcast channel 16 spawns a mongoose so this is if you wanted to spawn a spawn something then that something needs to be placed at start false can despawn true in the spawn channel of whatever your broadcast channel is which is 16 so that spawns in 
But if you wanted like a door or something else, then you'd just make it the broadcast channel the same and do nothing else to like that door, so forth. So that's what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be doing more stuff later.